and treated roughly by police during the Ferguson protests. Look at this scene Wednesday. A television crew from Al Jazeera America say police shot tear gas in their direction. That reporter right there is kind of being wow. uh, overcome First by the tear I'm gas. seeing that. And look, oh. shortly after the chemical was dispersed, officers could be seen doing what you see there, dismantling the crew's equipment. Quite bizarre. It Two is. reporters were also briefly detained at an area McDonald's restaurant Wednesday by an officer who refused to identify himself. We wow. talked, we showed you that yesterday. They uh, just put the camera down so it couldn't... And again, this is just people wondering, look, if we're peacefully protesting what they believe to be heavy-handed tactics by the police, is it really helping the situation if the cops come in close down McDonald's, close down news crews and detain journalists. That's kind of the center of this controversy. And the violent police reaction to some of the protests this week has some asking a key question here, where do these local police departments need such heavy duty weapons? Um, should they have access to them at all? Yeah, CNN's Brian Todd explains how local police ended up with equipment from the Pentagon.